Well, hey guys, how you doing? So, um, I had a couple cool things happen today. Um, this is how God works. He's just amazing. Okay. So, well, somebody had a dream last night and they tagged me in it. Um, and then they had said, um, uh, I'm not going to go into what they said, but it was a positive dream and they confirmed that I was a prophet from the Lord. Um, but what's cool is, so I had another person contact me today and confirmed another dream about me and Jesus saves. So what's really cool is Jesus saves was talking about how the Lord gave her twins confirmation, uh, spirit. And I said it out of the blue the other day. I said, Oh, you're my spiritual twin. And I didn't even realize I was confirming what Jesus had already told her. So what's cool is, well, first let me just say, you know, go into the twin thing. Um, so what happens? Satan always finds a way to mock something good, right? So after somebody did a nice thing confirming that I was a prophet or a messenger of the Lord, uh, somebody did a negative one confirming that the Lord was mad at me. And I didn't listen to the whole thing because, so I'll tell you, when Jesus is there for me and when people have come against me, you know, he holds my hand and I feel his presence. And um, right before my church called and said that I couldn't be on the worship team anymore, he held my hand the same way. And right before my job called me in and said, you know, um, they were letting me go because they didn't understand the messages. He held my hand right before and he held my hand in the office. And when someone sent me this video, um, one of the sister in Christ was just warning me, you know, what people were saying. Um, I listened to it, but the weird thing is, is I felt him holding my hand. It's not weird because he's there for me always, but I felt him holding my hand through it. And I didn't watch the whole thing. The weird thing is I stopped at exactly at 417. And I don't know what 417 means. Um, I'm not good with numbers. But some someone put it on my heart. Jesus put it on my heart. Um, it was like a thought in my head to look it up. And so I did. And I saw something about twins. <laughs> um something about, um, I, I can't remember the exact term, but there's more than one meeting. It was like faith and then love and stuff like that. So I thought that was interesting, but so let me get to the cool dream. Someone, um, contacted me about Jesus saves. So she said in her dream, we were in the living room and we were playing with Legos, but each Lego had a piece of God's prophecy and we were putting the Legos together. And every single time I had a word, you know, like the train derailments or whatever, she had something else. And then she put that piece together and she was about to say, well, in her dream, she said, Jesus, can I just tell them, you know, what this means? And he said, no. Um, he said, don't tell them they have to seek me and search out. And, um, I can't remember the exact word she said, but basically, um, they can't give, he can't give it all away yet. You know, because, and then that brings me to the scripture we prophesy in part. So, um, in the dream, he would not let her tell us, uh, you know, what, what it meant. And then she said she got more confirmation in the dream. <clears throat> we were still putting the pieces together. And um, it said something about the Lord told her that the more and more pieces we put together, our prophecies together, like she gives lots of words of knowledge and sometimes the Lord will speak to her about stuff like the twins. Um, and once we put those pieces together, he said, we will know the day uh, in her dream. She said, we'll know the day of his arrival, like to the exact date, which brings me to the prophecy Amos 3, 7. I don't do anything unless I reveal it to my prophets first. So I think the whole thing behind this is Jesus wants us to seek him and keep waiting on his arrival and being excited for his arrival. And he's playful and he's fun. And this Legos was like a fun thing. Um, and what's cool is she had prayed to Jesus about having a baby. 
but she didn't want to bring a baby in this world because of the evil. So she said, I'd love to be pregnant right before we go home. <laughs> She's pregnant with twins. <laughs> so that was amazing. And I'm sorry, guys. Come on. That cannot be a coincidence. And God, he does things like that. It's so amazing. And then she said, what Jesus wants to do is he wants me and Jesus saves to, to basically talk on the phone because we have certain frequencies in our voices that we can discern whether or not, you know, you feel the spirit or not, you know, the Holy Spirit. And obviously I know Jesus saves has the Holy Spirit. I feel that in her very strongly. And the Lord, you know, led me to her. Um, but we're supposed to get together over the phone or text message or whatever and put our puzzle pieces together. Since so she has all the words of the knowledge and I just have words for the Lord, if we put our minds together in his words, he's gonna help us figure out the message of his arrival. So that was so cool. And I had to share that with you. I haven't even told Jesus saves yet because I tried texting her um, and she hasn't answered me back yet, but the Lord put it on my heart. I prayed about before I uh, posted this and I said, Jesus, do you want me to tell you know this message? And I heard in my head, if it's about sharing my true gospel, yes. Or he said, is it about sharing my gospel? And so that, that was the whole point of the messages, guys. Jesus loves everybody and he wants people searching for him and, and trying to find out when he's coming. <clears throat> he doesn't want anyone to be asleep and he's just trying to wake people up and I know why people come against me because I'm speaking truth. So many people come against me. They don't really come to, against me like with love, you know. They come against me like as the accuser. And Satan always comes against as the accuser. So <laughs> am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect at all. And But I have nothing to gain. You know, I've given up everything for Jesus. And um, I'm not going to let these people, you know ruin my childlike faith. I'm not. Um, because I know that I have my relationship with Jesus and I love him. And I would never do anything or say anything if I didn't 100% believe. Anyway, but I wanted to share this message because um, I thought that was so cool. And it's an encouragement, guys, because she's pregnant with twins and we're going home. Yay! I don't know when I have to get a hold of Jesus saved. So I'm going to post this video so she can call me. <laughs> okay, guys, if you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life. Uh, ask him, you know, to forgive you for his sins. Believe in him with all your heart. And, you know, he'll, he'll forgive you. Guys, he doesn't want anyone to perish. And that's why he told me that when people are just speaking about wrath, but they're not leading people to his gospel, his love... You need to test the spirit because not everyone is from him, you know, not there's, you know, he, the weird thing is, is he told me in a previous message that, um, witches are going to be coming after Christians soon, that Satan has ordered his witches to attack the Christians and that's happening. I had like literally nine emails of nothing but curse words. I mean, and then she said, I know who you are and you're beep Jesus. So it was very, very crude. Um, so that happened. And then he also said that Satan is whispering in, in Christian's ears. So, you know, always test the spirits. I test everything before I post anything because I don't ever want to be deceived and I would never want to deceive anyone. So... You know, always, always take it to Jesus and get confirmation from him. But, um, you know, I, I just, I love our Lord. He's so awesome. And you can have that relationship too. You know, just, just keep asking and keep seeking him because he loves you and he doesn't want anyone to perish. He really doesn't. He just wants you to come to him, believe in him with your childlike faith and, and he'll save you. Okay, guys, you have a blessed night.